What's up everyone? It's your boy NornRad89 here bringing you another video. Sorry it's been a few days and like not posting as many videos but it's been a busy week and stuff and building up with the holidays and all that kind of stuff. I really do do a lot of stuff with the family and it is New Year's Eve so shout out to everybody and hopefully you have a good New Year's Eve and go into 2022 with a lot of good vibes. So right now we are here to talk about Matrix Revolutions, the third film in the Matrix franchise. Like I said, we're going through all the Matrix films, and I just saw Matrix Resurrections yesterday, so I'm going to be talking about that one pretty soon and posting my review. Probably won't be up till tomorrow, but let's get down to this. The third film in the Matrix franchise. Let's do it. So Matrix Revolutions was one that I always kind of had to grow into liking. Like the first two times I saw this movie, I really didn't like this one. I didn't like the landing spot. I didn't like them taking a step back from Neo and Trinity as the main characters. Like I didn't really like any of that kind of stuff. I didn't like being out of the Matrix that much. I, you know, and being in the real world, there's a lot more real world action in this one and kind of like the robot battles and stuff. Like when I first saw it a couple times, I wasn't down with it. But now, like, really after returning into it again, like, a couple years later now, I have it's been a couple years since I've seen it, and, like, re-watching it now, really being able to immerse myself in the characters, I have a new appreciation for this film. It is really cool that they take a step back from Keanu, Keanu's character, Neo, and Carrie on Moss's character, Trinity, in this one. They're kind of like the side characters. They're the driving force in the beginning of the movie and the end, but the middle is more about Niobe and Morpheus and like all the other characters and how everything that's happened in the first two films really does affect them and where their beliefs are and all that stuff. And now that the fact that the Sentinels and the machines are getting closer to Zion and stuff, it's kind of like that last minute, like, where do you stand? You know, whose side are you on? are you a believer or are you not like kind of stuff so it's like really cool in that aspect also this is one that i think i really do love the fact that we do like i said get some good character moments in it it does have consequences and you can feel it like i said like niobe is probably a really good character in this one i like her character arc from beginning to the end in this one she has a really good kind of you know she's struggling with believing in Neo but then she trusts him to take her ship and stuff like that and then she is flying the ship with Morpheus in that kind of like captain co-pilot scene that's almost like a Han and Chewie moment so there's like a lot of cool iconic character moments in this one for like I said a lot of the side characters even the the guy that Neo saved his first like rescue from the Matrix that that kid has a really good character moment when he has to open the door to let Niobe and them in to blow the EMP so that's what I did like about this one is it does have weight and consequences and it does have emotion to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another thing with this movie too is that I think, you know, Trinity and Neo, you can really tell by this third film that it's their love is kind of the main point of this story. Yes, we've gone through Neo growing up and discovering who he's going to be and choosing his path and stuff like that, but it's much more Trinity and Neo centric in this one in terms of capping off the story at the end with that their love is the most important thing and that's what drives him and that's what he chooses at the end of the film and you know saves Sion and stuff so it's really good in that aspect for me it's just this film still doesn't reach that adoring love that I have for Matrix 1 and Matrix 2 so it's kind of like uh, I do have a new appreciation for this like I said I like this film but I still doesn't match that love and like the problems I do have with this film is that I don't really enjoy the robot fighting scene like in Zion like it is a cool moment it's an iconic moment but I don't really like all the just shooting at like CGI clouds of like robots coming in like of course this is how they were going to do it like there's there's too much CGI you'd have to do with the stuff that you're asking for and the scenes that they drew out and the sets like you know some of it's real but a lot of the machine stuff is all CGI. So like when it's happening, it's just, it takes me out of the film a little bit. You know what I mean? But I still do like this film. Like I said, that is one of them. And then my other main negative is still kind of there with this film. And it's the very end of this film where we, where this film leaves us. And it kind of just still feels like a cop out or almost like, oh, we went through all this in the first two movies. And then all the stuff in the beginning of this movie in the middle to end up here. And it's like, yes, we're kind of at this mutual agreement point and the machines go off and they're living with the humans like in peace kind of thing. You know, it was like, I don't know. It just, it felt like 
an ending that I just wasn't comfortable with because there was a little bit too many questions of what I had and I just didn't feel it didn't feel like a definitive ending and I wanted that and I didn't feel that from this one and I also this one I do enjoy the Neo Mr. Smith fight in this in the Matrix it is pretty cool but it still doesn't have that weight or gravitas when you watch the first Matrix film and you see Neo first stand up to Mr. Smith and they're like no run like run and he's like no he's finally deciding to stay and fight Mr. Smith like it just doesn't have that same feeling to it so but in my book Matrix Revolutions is going to sit at a 7 out of 10 this is still a very solid film for me it just isn't one that I enjoyed the landing spot especially after you know Matrix 1 and 2 are like 9 out of 10s for me they're in that area so this one just it didn't hit that hit home for me but I still do enjoy this film and I'm glad that I rewatched it before going to see Resurrections because it really did also help with understanding where we're at or where we came from you know what I mean in the films and stuff because it had been a couple years since I seen Revolution so definitely I would recommend it. if you're going to go see Matrix Resurrections or you're going to check it out on HBO Max I would recommend checking out the first three films before you do that Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all, for this review for Matrix Revolutions. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing and stick to the channel. Have a safe and happy day. And as I said, have a happy new year. Peace out.